we do have evidence that aphantasia is familial. Last year, we published a study based on questionnaire data from 2,000 people with aphantasia. And if you have aphantasia, the chances that your first degree relatives will have aphantasia are raised by about 10, tenfold. So clearly there's a familial clustering and that may well have a genetic basis. If both your parents are aphantasic, that's unusual. It's more often one parent and then a brother and perhaps a child. So I don't think it's going to prove to be to be very common, but I think I think it is quite likely that there will prove to be a, an underlying genetic story, probably a number of genes. And we're, we're now in the process of trying to try to begin to hunt them down. There are a number of large databases now around the world. 23andMe is an example. Organizations which have collected genetic data from large numbers of people and some associated psychological data. So we're hoping that we'll be able to use data from these large, large data banks to hunt down genes that may be involved in influencing imagery vividness. But I think the chances are that there, there will be some.